If you've driven I-75 just north of Detroit, you hardly recognize the place. Uh, bridges and overpasses are gone, including one that has served as the main artery through one of the suburbs along the freeway. Our business editor, Rob Maloney, is live tonight in a city that is suffering from what we'll call orange barrel anxiety, Rod. <laughs> oh, big time, Devin. I mean, we're on the service drive here at I-75. Take a look. This is the overpass. One of them is going to get taken down this weekend. Uh, they just stopped working here, but they've been working on the dirt. You've got the I-beams over here getting ready for the new bridge. Uh, but there are only four ways across I-75 as Hazel Park gets cut in half by the highway. And so come Monday, they're expecting the traffic jam of all traffic jams. Last weekend, MDOT crews started in earnest here, getting ready for this weekend's triple bridge demolitions. Only the nine mile road bridge will remain open. To Hazel Park City Manager Ed Klobuchar, it's a migraine headache waiting to happen. Without those bridges, it's going to be much more difficult for people to go from east to west. He's had to arrange for mutual assistance from neighboring Ferndale to help with police calls because the bridge separates the police department from many Hazel Park residents. School children will lose pedestrian bridges that they use to walk home from after school, which led Klobuchar to ask MDOT to change its construction schedule. We're a little bit frustrated that they couldn't stagger even one of the bridges uh, and leave it up during the construction phase. But you know avail. So the plan B is to pray for great weather and can do construction crews. If they can't accommodate us by leaving at least one of these bridges up and staggering the construction process, that they move fast and construct the, reconstruct these bridges as soon as possible to create as minimal uh, impact on the city of Hazel Park as possible. Because the off ramps are closed and the overpasses are going to be gone, there's going to be chaos in city streets already overloaded with construction redirected traffic. We are a resilient community. Uh, we've had crises before and we come through them. We have a tremendous sense of community spirit. We'll we'll find a way to make it through uh -huh. this. Well, Klobuchar is optimistic, but he knows there's going to be trouble come Monday. Now, he uh, he has gone to MDOT, try and get some help. MDOT put out a statement this afternoon basically saying that, you know, they do everything they can to let the communities, let their drivers, let the uh, citizens know about what they're going to be doing. And they said that this wasn't really much of a surprise to anybody. And uh, so that's where things stand tonight. Back to you. Well, Rada, it really surprised me. Oftentimes, MDOT will try to work with the communities. Yeah. Uh, was there any other sort of accommodation in this case? Well, yeah, according to the city manager, he said they did some, uh, they're doing some work trying to help with the pedestrian overpasses in particular um, that they seem to be flexible on. But the rest of it has to do with construction schedule, what it is that they can do. And of course, it all depends on that good weather and these construction crews getting going a little faster yeah. than you might expect. Yeah, we'll be hoping for the good weather indeed. Okay, Rod, thanks.